Hi guys, Fog of Gaming here with a detailed overview of the operators in Rainbow Six Siege. Today we will be covering the defenders so that you will have a perfect understanding of what each operator is capable of. This way you will be able to choose the best operator in Rainbow Six Siege. Our first operator is Bandit. He has access to a unique gadget called Shock Wire. It's basically a combination of a car battery and a taser. You can use this device to electrify barbed wire and shields. It will destroy drones and it will damage and kill your opponents. Bandit comes with light armor but he has a pretty good main gun, the MP7. You will find it very easy to kill. On top of all that, Bandit has access to a nitro cell. The best way to describe this is to look at it as a cell phone attached to C4. This thing can do massive damage to your opponents. Use it to lay down a trap for your enemies or use it as a last resort. You can even use your shock wire on top of a signal disruptor if you are working together with Mute. This guy is more focused on protecting a location. Mute has medium armor so he is ok at defending but he has access to a signal disruptor. It can prevent communications such as remote detonations and it will block drones by disrupting the signal. It will even prevent the enemy from using breaching charges near the location of the signal disruptor. Doc is the medic in Rainbow Six. He can't bring your buddies back to life, but he can revive teammates from DBNO. So if your buddy got shot and he is down but not out, then everyone can pick up your teammate and put him back on his feet. But you have to run over there and physically pick him up. Doc can do this from a safe distance with his stim pistol. Just shoot at your buddy with your stim pistol and he will be back on his feet in no time, ready to kill again. Doc is a defensive player so he comes with heavy armor. It's best for him to stay close to your teammates so that he can revive them when needed. Doc and Rook work well together. Rook is able to increase the chances that your buddies go into DBNO so that Doc can revive them. Rook can drop an armor pack and your team can pick up these armor plates. They will increase the armor rating and they will increase the chances of going into DBNO instead of dying. Rook is a defender but he is very good at attacking. He comes with heavy armor and he has a great gun. Combine that with your own armor plates and you will become the perfect killing machine. Jaeger is the opposite. He excels at defending. He has active defense as his unique gadget and it will destroy any projectile explosive device used near its location. He comes with light armor. Pulse is probably the operator that has seen the most changes. He was way too strong in the alpha, not strong enough in the closed beta and now they are even tweaking him again. The main reason is his unique gadget, the cardiac sensor or heartbeat sensor. It's self explanatory. You aim at the wall and you will see where your enemies are on the other side so that you can kill them. They added some cosmetic changes to what you see here so it will look a lot better when you are playing Rainbow Six Siege. Last but definitely not least, smoke. He has access to some remote gas grenades. It will deal damage over time to anyone that finds himself trapped in your smoke. You are immune to your own smoke but your teammates aren't, so be careful. You also have access to a nitro cell, so you can lay down multiple traps. A nitro cell on one side and a gas grenade on the other side. Or you can put them both in the same location. One as a decoy and the other one to finish them off. There are a few more defensive operators in Rainbow Six. They will be introduced to you in a separate video. Subscribe so that you will be the first one to have access to that video. In the meantime, check out this video that covers the attackers in Rainbow Six Siege. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and see you on the battlefield.